Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. As we all know, and sadly, AMD has dropped their driver support for the GCN architecture last year. This is never seen as a good thing by the gamers, especially given the circumstances. Now, in the past, I've tested handful of the older AMD HD graphics cards, ranging from the first generation of Terascale with the 3870, all the way up to the GCN 1.0 with the monster HD 7990. Many of you enjoyed the testing and also suggested I try Nimes drivers. And so I did. What even are the NIMS drivers? Well, in a nutshell, they are a community-driven modded drivers that allow legacy AMD GPUs to work with the latest AMD drivers, promising better support for newer titles and, in theory, should offer also better performance. I remember using Omega drivers and those were great for older mobile AMD graphics back in the day. So in this quick video, I'm going to simply compare the latest Radeon driver from AMD's website with the NIMS drivers. The version used for my testing today are 16.2.1 Beta and 15.301 Signature Feb 2022 V4. And today I'm using a Terascale 3 Radeon HD 6970 from 2010. Let's jump straight into it. Of course, we start with Heaven Benchmark, where the scores are identical at 776 points. The only difference here was the 0.1 improvement for minimum FPS for the NIMS drivers, so 1-0 to those. And the Nemesis, aka GTA 4, returns once again, and here, doing my usual run and using the high graphical preset, we saw an average of 46.8 FPS with the Crimson driver and 45.1 using the NIMS drivers. Although there is some improvements to 1% lows, the experience, to be honest, was really nearly identical and I couldn't tell them apart. In GTA 5, using the high settings but normal textures, we saw similar results, although this time 49.5 FPS using the legacy drivers and just a smidge below that with the modern ones. There is some nice improvement to 1 and 0.1 lows, which are very important for overall gameplay smoothness. And the last game I've tested was 2015's Witcher 3, and here we saw the average of 29.3 FPS with the Radeon driver, and nearly identical, perhaps within a margin of error result using the NIMS drivers. Oddly enough, the 0.1% low was worse using the modern driver, but please, take this with the grain of salt, this is no extensive testing. So then, what have we actually learned today? Well, after I saw the results, I watched some other content on YouTube covering the subject and that only reassured me in my findings. Let's be honest here and answer some burning questions you might have. Will I double my FPS using the NIMS drivers? And the answer is a firm no. What you will however see is a nice improvement to 1 and 0.1% lows, which, as I've mentioned previously, are very important for smooth gameplay. Then it's the improved compatibility with newer titles. Whilst not obvious from my testing, people, for example, who are using the R9290 will be able to play Halo Infinite, which before then they were unable. I will revisit the NIMS drivers in the future, after all, it would seem that the GCN architecture cards do benefit from this the most, and let's just say I have a couple of them laying around. Thank you for watching the video, be sure to leave a like and comment below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.